Hi, it's the Amish Furniture Insider. Welcome, I'm Rusty Humphreys. We are brought to you by Steiner's Amish Furniture in Chandler, Arizona, and in Sun City, Arizona. And here is the Amish Furniture Insider himself, Brett Steiner. So where are we, guys? We are in Wilmot at the Amish Store Restaurant. Yeah. And uh, is this one of your favorites here? One of the favorites, the one of many. There, yeah. there, there's plenty to choose from. One more, more than one, one, a week, one day a week. <laughs> Get it out. And this is an Amish style restaurant. Amish style restaurant. Amish cooking made from scratch. To die for. Yeah. What, what are they? Good comfort food. What's their specialty in a place like this? Fried chicken and mashed potatoes. <laughs> Apple pie. Them some big rolls. Well, you can eat. No, good. You're good. What are you talking about? Picture. I'm taking a picture. We're doing a video. What are you talking about? Get a roll. Okay, I'm taking a roll. Now you're saying there's some specialties out here that they don't really have in a lot of places. Some kind of peanut butter spread or something you have at the shop? Amish peanut butter. Yes. What, what is that? What? Tell them. That's the cook. Um, basically, it's peanut butter and marshmallow cream whipped together. And I don't know what else is in it. Then that's good? But lots of sugar. Oh, okay. It sounds scary. It's, it's, it's delicious. Scary good. Uh -huh. It's scary good. That's so we're at the Amish Lots door. of calories. What? Peanut butter and <laughs> marshmallows? So, so right through that door, yeah. it says bakery, yeah. it'll be in there. Ooh, I have to try some. Well, here's the menu. Oh, okay. Uh, we tasted the Amish country. It's time for Stephanie's tip of the day. Are you ready to go? No. <laughs> okay, so you just saw us, and we were in the Amish restaurant in, uh, do you remember where it was? Uh, Mount Hope. Mount Hope. Mount Hope. Okay. Now, um, Stephanie had a big accident a little while ago, and you fell and you hit your head? I did. What happened? I passed out at home. For what? In my kitchen. I don't know. Okay, but just passing out. I passed out. hit my face against my kitchen counter. And okay, so she absolutely does not want to be doing the show right now. <laughs> so, But don't worry, we're going to make it quick. We're going to make it easy. We were at Great. the Amish restaurant, and one of the things that you talked about that you love is this peanut butter. Peanut butter. What is this? It's a peanut butter spread. It's a marsh peanut butter marshmallow, marshmallow spread. spread. What is so great about this, and why is this a, a reason to come down to Steiner's Amish Furniture? It is fabulous. It's sweet. It's peanut buttery. It's, oh, it's so good. Ooh. It's something that they always have on the kitchen table, or not kitchen, on their tables in their restaurants and in, in little squeeze bottles. Oh, okay. And, and we have it in our store. Okay, there you go. So I feel like Vanna it's White. So good. Yeah. I'm almost I, Vanna. Yes, I'm. I'm very is it, Vanna. Isn't he Vanna? <laughs> yes, I'm very Vanna. -y. Uh Let's see what else. And is they that? also have apple. They always have peanut butter and apple butter. Apple butter. So they always have this combination on their tables, and they serve it with um, warm bread. Hmm. Okay. It's so good. All right, so, so get good. that. And then the other one that I noticed that was big there was. Um, um, noodles. 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 Yeah. We got to stay in the in the camera range. Sorry. We want people to be able to see it. All noodles. right. Okay. Noodles. But no, the other one was the beets. What's the deal with the beets? Um, I don't know. They're they're sweet. They're baby. Sweet baby beets. But it's like a Pickled. thing with the, with the Amish group, do, right? Because they do them good. <laughs> they they are pretty good. They are good. They are good. So so okay. Stephanie's tip of the day is come to Steiner's Amish Furniture and try some of the wonderful. Amish cuisine. Yeah, we've got jams and jellies and beets and oh all my. kinds of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Let's see. Another one of my favorites is the uh, is the bacon jam. <laughs> I have that at my house. I bake and jam, so that's, that's good. That's new. That's new. That's new. Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right. That's all we got for this segment. Okay. So we go and check out. I survived. You did. You did good. So should we go check out? Uh, Brent, the uh, Amish Furniture Insider, see what his next adventure is? Sounds good. Let's do that now. So we're at uh, one of my custom builders. You know, he does an awesome job. He also has a standard line. Um, but this is my go-to guy. He's awesome. Uh, if I need a custom deal done, this is where I go. Uh, lay it out for him, sketch it. And it comes back and it's precise. It's awesome. 
uh, his shop. He has what they call a line shaft. The line shaft comes in from his engine house out and into the shop and comes underneath these boards. There's a shaft under there. And then there's pulleys that come up from the shaft and belts that drive the machinery in here. So he has that throughout his throughout his shop. So this this end is his Rough cut and rough cut and this is where he did all his rough cutting. Two guys always assembling. Yeah. We got how many? A lot of different saws there. Yeah, we got like hand saw and he's the shaver and there's a straight line rip and panel saw and another saw down there. Okay. Um, how many of your boys are working for you? Uh, three of the boys are working for you. Three of the boys. And then are the other ones uh, that's relatives? My that's my dad right there. I thought it was one of your parents. And that's over there, and the other one is my brother. Okay. So we've got all family here. I know they want to start here in two weeks, so they would not be related to that. Uh-huh. Okay. So that's kind of the process he's doing. Like that, he's getting all the best friends out, and then he's fans, he's assembled it. And once he's got that, the other guys take over and do that, so. Are you doing... Your uh, machines are running off... Uh, line shafts. Line shafts. Uh, that would be interesting too. Well, so, yeah, that is. I can show you how it works if you want me to. Okay. Like I can show you that. But I'll let you do the call if you want to do that. Yeah. But I can show okay. you here. Like under there, and more of the line gap going through the bottom there. I got a, uh, what's that coming off the air? Mm -hmm. Okay. But then, your engine's over there. Yeah. Yeah. You probably know that we don't want to have big to big and all that. Yes. Yes, you know. That engine's over there and that room over there. So, when he goes down to the southern end of his shop here, that's where the assembly starts. Uh, the parts get put together, and he just kind of goes from one station to another uh, until he gets the finished product. And the finished product goes out and down to his uh, finish shop area where it gets the final finishing touches done to it. And those marks are true. So that's his process, um, and hey, he's a great guy and does a great job. So also one thing that he does, I don't sell it to store, but maybe I should, are these tiny houses. So there's a manufacturer, local manufacturer here that manufactures these tiny houses, the outside. Well then he completes the inside of it. It's really cool does an awesome job he said we could take a peek so I haven't been in here yet so let's see what it's like oh wow pretty cool he's got looks like walnut floors Wow bunk room up above that's what it's about Cabinets, fashionable blue. Now, that's not necessarily your typical Amish.
here. I was exploring. All right, so a lot of unique items. Extra storage, pantry, underneath the steps. Um, did you get the one? Nice living room there. Right here. Living room. That makes an extra bed. These drawers, extra storage on the drawers. Oh. Did you open that? Of course, they've got a mounting up there for your TV, but I'm sure the Amish don't watch that. <laughs> Extra storage under here. Wow. A lot of thought into this process. It's like a basement. Yeah. And this. This closes up and makes another bedroom. Okay, Stephanie, Brent is out doing his thing, and we just saw him uh, and the factory talking about custom furniture. Some of the custom work that they do, you have here at Steiner's Amish mm -hmm. Furniture, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of them. Yeah, this is a bookcase. This is in maple. I'm not sure of the stain color, but it's maple, mm -hmm. maple wood. Um, it's got self-closing doors or soft-closing doors, adjustable shelves. What kind of things have you seen them do custom-wise that you go, wow, this is just amazing? I've seen some amazing desks and tables. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, uh, if you want to see some of that or get some custom work done, uh, Steiner's Amish Furniture is the place to go. Um, the website is what? SAFAZ.net. She knows that. What the phone number is what? Uh, 623-974-1745. Boy, you're asking me hard questions today. Oh, I hit my head, remember? <laughs> <laughs> From Timberside, that builder. This is a Mission Craftsman style bookcase. It's got adjustable shelves. Lots of shelves. Um, I'm sure it can be put in with a light if you want it with a light. This one doesn't have a light. Um, but they can uh, do these and, and a lot of customized work at that yeah. place that we just saw. Yeah, this one's in oak, but you can be done in any of the colors back or any of the wood back there on the wall, and then also any of the stain colors that are back there on that wall. So a lot of times um, when you do the Mission Craftsman style, it's done in Cortison and Mission or Michael's Cherry, which is this color here in this wood. So a lot. All right, hey, we sure appreciate you. Would you please hit that subscribe button? Should they hit the subscribe Sub button? Subscribe, subscribe. Persian, there you go. Oh, she's good. <laughs> hit the subscribe button, share, let people know about uh, the Amish Furniture Insider. It's a great show, and uh, I love doing it. I hope you love watching it, and we'll catch you next time. I'm Rusty Avery. She is Stephanie Steiner. Uh, this Amish Furniture Insider is Why? not here. He's just gone. He's, he's out. But we'll catch you next time. Oh, his brain, his name is Brent Steiner. And we'll catch you next time. I'm Russ Davies for the Steiners, and this is the Amish Furniture Insider. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.